Hi, this is Neil Schneider of Meant to Be Seen at NAB Show 2009. I'm joined by Gary Mandel, Senior Product Manager for Sony. Welcome to the program, Gary. Oh, thank you very much. Well, I'm very excited by what I'm seeing here today. I'm seeing multiple 3D displays by Sony, uh, stereoscopic 3D. Can you tell us a little bit about these displays? These are a technology demonstration that we're putting out to show, or actually to, for our own use, to find it, how useful this would be, and if customers would be interested in this type of, te type of technology. And quite honestly, with, we've been overwhelmed by, by the amount of response we've gotten from these. So what we have in the booth, are we have a 42 inch that we've converted from an original uh, 2D model, and we are showing it using a micropolarization system. Uh, uh, we're using the real D glasses, uh, using the circular polarizers, and uh, the, the effect has been very well received. Um, and we've had response from just about every area you could ever imagine, from uh, post-production, film production, special effects, uh, even uh, outside, even industries outside of uh, uh, the broadcast areas, including CAD CAM or oil exploration, or just a multitude of things. Personally speaking, I've seen Sony models at Game Developers Conference, I've seen them at CES, consistently crowds and crowds of people looking at the visual quality, being impressed. Uh, I mean, today I saw a sample of the displays and what, what, what struck me is that no matter where I move, left, right, front, not in back, you can't see in back, but in the different directions, I found that the clarity maintained, there was very little if any crosstalk between the left and right image. I, is this a, an interlinked solution can you elaborate a little bit as to how the technology works yeah it's actually a very simple system uh, the what we're doing is we we bring the the video content into the monitor through a three gigabyte uh, digital interface uh, this is a simp new SEMPTI uh, 425 interface and it's multiplex so uh, we have left eye right eye information following each other we'll display it onto the panel uh, odd and even lines so one eye would be on the odd lines, one eye would be on the even lines. There is a film over the top of the image, over the top of the LCD panel, and it polarizes it in different directions. So odd lines are clockwise polarized, uh, even lines are counterclockwise polarized. And then the glasses are corresponding to the, that polarization, and it gives you the 3D effect. Excellent, excellent. And now, uh, you mentioned these are just uh, demonstration models. Uh, in your opinion, is this the direction that Sony wants to go as far as 3D, or are they open to additional technologies like, like you know, high refresh rate displays, maybe experimental technologies that haven't come to press yet? Uh, is this a, a, a locked position by Sony, or are you looking at all kinds of solutions? We're still looking at a lot of number, a number of different things. Uh, I think you've seen our digital cinema projection, which is using two images on one 4K chip, which is a complete departure from any other technology. This technology uh, with the micropolarizers is very interesting because of a cost point of view and the simplicity of the system. So we're looking very hard at this. But there are still, as you said, some of the other systems out there, uh, there's no reason to write them off either. Uh, and if they look like they would fit the application we want to enter, uh, we would certainly use them. Now, Sony is a very unique company for a number of reasons. I mean, you work in the gaming market, you work in the film market, cinema, in the theater and in the home. Uh, we're at NAB Show, and a lot of what we're seeing on the show floor is targeted to professionals with professional budgets. Uh, is Sony, in your opinion, is Sony seriously looking at the consumer markets as well? I can't speak for the consumer TV group, although we showed 3D at CES this year, so obviously something is going on. Uh, but even, even before then, you have to make the content. So we're going to have to come up with displays in order for the creators to uh, build content to supply for the, the televisions. I think once that gets settled, I, the uh, TV group will decide on what direction they want to go, and we'll be able to have full systems for 3D delivery to the home. Well, it, it, it's just really exciting because, I mean, I've seen like a, a, a game developers conference, we saw PlayStation 3s running in, in 3D. I mean, you've got content here showing actual stereoscopic 3D movies. Uh, in, in your opinion, is there some major hurdles that Sony would like to see beat uh, before things go mainstream? Well, uh, there are hurdles. I wouldn't call them major. Um, there are some committees right now, standards committees, working on delivery systems and how to standardize content. Uh, the DCI and SEMPTI have done a marvelous job on standardizing 3D delivery to the theaters. 
I think now that uh, in the production system, you can integrate 3D in a normal production system with almost no effort, uh, it's coming. <laughs> it, it's coming, and I think it's going to coming very quickly. Excellent, excellent. Well, thank you so much for, for, for the interview, Gary. Uh, we've been joined by Gary Mandel, Senior Product Manager for Sony. Uh, we've, we've sampled some 3D displays here at, at NAV Show 2009. Excellent, very exciting stuff. We'll be back with more.